This video is just a quick illustration of finding a derivative of a function that is just complicated enough that you might have to use more than one of our techniques or shortcuts in order to find the derivative. It's also going to be an opportunity to talk about some notation that helps to organize calculations like this. So let's say we have this function x times the quantity x squared plus 1 cubed. And we want to find the derivatives. We want to find h prime of x. Well, notice that this function h is a product of two things, x and this quantity that's cubed. So when we have a product, we can find the derivative by using the product rule. The product rule tells us we're going to differentiate one function and not the other, and then do it the other way and add the results. So one way to express that that's what we're going to do is this. We can say that we're taking the derivative of the first function, the x, and that's what this notation means. d over dx means take the derivative of the next thing with respect to x, treating x as the variable. Uh, the d dx is important because sometimes you can have more than one variable, and this notation tells you which one you're taking a derivative with. Uh, we'll see more of that later on in chapter 13. So anyway, this means we're going to take the derivative of x, and then we're going to multiply that by the other part without doing anything to it. Then we leave the x alone, and we take the derivative of the other part, the x squared plus 1 quantity cubed. Okay, so this line represents having used the product rule. Take the derivative of the first function, leave the second function alone. Then leave the first function alone and take the derivative of the second function. Add them together. Okay. The ddx allows us to put off until a later step taking the actual derivatives. So in this first line, I'm just applying the product rule, but I'm not actually calculating any of the derivatives involved. I save that for the next step. So in the next step, uh, I have the derivative of x, which is 1, times the quantity x squared plus 1 cubed, plus x times the derivative of this next part. Now, the next part, x squared plus 1 quantity cubed, that's a composition of functions. You can think of that as an inside function, x squared plus 1, and an outside function, x cubed. So a composition of functions like this requires us to use the chain rule when we're differentiating. The chain rule says take the derivative of the outside function, that's 3x squared, but I don't write the x, instead I leave a space where I plug in the inside function, x squared plus 1, and I still have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So notice I'm again using the ddx notation to save until the next step, finding a derivative. So this is the outside function, the derivative, 3x squared, with the inside function plugged in, and then I multiply that by the derivative of the inside function, and we'll compute that in the next line. Uh, I'm also going to simplify a little bit as I go, so I have 1 times something. I'm not going to write 1 times, so we'll just have x squared plus 1 quantity cubed plus, uh, let's put the 3 in the front maybe, because that's a little bit more natural to have the constant coefficient in the front. Uh, and then what's the derivative of the x squared plus 1? Well, that's 2x. So just to finish this up, in terms of simplifying, I can combine the 3 and the 2 to make a 6, and the x and the x to make an x squared. And this is my final answer. So this video was about two things, really. This was an example of how you could use two different rules in the same problem to find the derivative. In this case, we needed to use both the product rule and the chain rule. And it was also a tip about using this ddx notation to help you organize the calculation so that when you're using one of the rules and you have to take a derivative, 
you can say that you're going to take that derivative, but hold off on it for another step. And that can make it a little bit easier when the functions are really complicated so that you make sure you don't miss a step along the way.